Parents, relatives, friends, members of the school board, administration, district staff, and most importantly, the class of 2020. Welcome to the 149th annual commencement exercise of the Williamsport Area School District. This commencement recognizes the culmination of 13 years of academic work and achievement. This event that we call commencement is the formal process of acknowledging that you have achieved academic proficiency and confirm that all the requirements set forth by the state of Pennsylvania in this school district have been completed. While this is not your typical high school commencement, it is your high school commencement. Own this memory. Be proud of the fact that you are part of the first virtual commencement the Williamsport Area School District has ever held. You have secured your spot in our school district's history. Seniors, I challenge you to not let COVID-19 define your senior year but allow it to build your resolve and your determination to make this world a safer, better place. Your generation has already encountered events that have literally changed our world. On September 11, 2001, as many of you were just starting your lives in this world, our country was facing the worst terroristic attack on U.S. soil we had ever endured. As you were learning to walk, our country was learning to how to cope and protect each other from violent attacks from both domestic and foreign enemies. Your class and your generation has already seen life-changing events and worldwide challenges from spikes to violence to climate change and now a worldwide pandemic. While receiving your formal education you are also learning how to build grit and resolve. Seniors, I hope you, better than any class before you, have learned that what matters in life is not about what happens to you it's about how you react to it. It's how you react to adversity. It's how you react to challenges that you face. And as you know, you will certainly face challenges. One of the most important lessons I learned as a young man is life is not fair. I was told many years ago, a fair is where you go to order that funnel cake in the summer. It should never be used to describe life. The sooner you accept the fact, the sooner you will be able to move on when you feel that life has not been fair to you. The simple truth is every day you rise in the morning, you have been gifted with one more day, one more opportunity to make a difference in not only your life, but the lives of others. Never let that opportunity pass you by. As your superintendent, I feel confident that our outstanding faculty and staff have given you the knowledge and foundation you will need to blend with your unique talents to make a real impact, not only in your life, but the lives of others. Our district's mission is to develop responsible citizens through excellence in education. I believe your class is evidence we have fulfilled our mission. Throughout our nation's history, people just like you have been asked to use their skills to better our world. I believe each and every one of you have the potential to make this world a better place and reach levels of personal success along the way that are beyond even your own expectations. Seek out opportunities that challenge you, inspire you, and feed your hunger for something better. Always remember there is no substitute for hard work. This high school diploma is not a free pass for a lifetime of success. It's not a free ticket to the big show. It simply is proof that you have what it takes to accomplish your goals. As you pursue new goals, don't be afraid of success or failure, for both teach you how to be resilient and gives you the grace and the ability to be humble. Lead by action. Well done is always better than well said. Mankind needs great ideas, but the execution of those ideas is what's really important. Over the last three months, you have all experienced the importance of leadership. You have seen leaders in our country, state, and local offices have to make extremely difficult decisions, and you have seen those decisions be debated, argued, and politicized. The fact of the matter is decisions leaders make will always be debated, argued, and politicized. My hope is the lesson our country has learned, and the lesson I hope all of you have learned, 
is leadership matters. Rather that leadership is leading a country, state, city, hospital, school, or your own household, the decisions you make today will directly affect you tomorrow. Always seek to make informed decisions based on real evidence and real data and not just emotions. I believe that each and every one of you will someday be in a position of leadership. Lead boldly. Lead with compassion. Work to find common ground. Work to unite and not divide. Douglas MacArthur once said, a true leader has the confidence to stand alone, the courage to make tough decisions, and the compassion to listen to the needs of others. He does not set out to be a leader, but he becomes one by the equality of his actions and the integrity of his intent. Class of 2020, I believe you leave here with perfect 2020 vision. With your fresh eyes and your millionaire diploma, there is nothing that you can't accomplish. It is time for you to start your own journey and show the world the incredible gifts and talents you bring to this dance. Remember, there is no substitute for hard work. Continue to work hard and dream big. Congratulations and good luck. Hello to my fellow graduates and friends. Fancy seeing you here this way. Well, you can see me at least. I know what you are all expecting this speech to be about. You are expecting me to talk about the global pandemic that has recently plagued our nation, devastated the world around us, and dramatically rearranged our grand expectations of this year. But I don't want to talk about that. Sure, it all is undeniably painfully true. But I am not standing here to reflect upon our losses. Instead, I'm going to walk you through what our senior year was supposed to be. I'm going to remind you all why we, the class of 2020, will actively embody the words of Vivian Green. Life is not about waiting for the storm to pass, but learning to dance in the rain. Let's go back to Monday, August 28th. There we were, our 13th and final first day of school. We were tan and tired from the summer sun, blissfully stuck in a simpler state of mind. We were dressed in our very best, showing off our new white shoes and our freshly cut hair, eager to face the beginning of the end. This year, it was different. It was comfortable. The nerves that we had felt as freshmen when we were shorter and newer, had dissipated. We made beautiful art, watching our talented creators grow creatively. We yelled from the stands as our senior soccer girls became four-peat district champs. We chose Jake Belford as our 2020 Mr. Millionaire, which was no surprise to those of us who had been laughing at his goofy jokes since middle school. We sent three seniors to PMEA choir festivals and watched as our OM team killed it yet again. We danced under gold balloons at winter formal, we chanted at the pep rallies, shouted for our favorite athletes, and made sure the underclassmen knew their place in the back of the student sections. And above all, we had finally mastered the art of procrastination. Now, let us pretend. Let us imagine our senior year the way we wanted it to be. Close your eyes if you want. Let these moments live. Let's pretend the memory making never ended. Let's imagine it's Friday, March 13th. You leave school when the bell rings at 2.25, hopping on a yellow bus or into your trusty car, trying your best to get out of a lot before the crowds beat you to it. It feels like spring. It's windy, but the skies are blue and the grass is beginning to turn green. It's the first Friday of track season, and the Without a Q kids are down in the Black Box Theater, preparing for that night's nice show. The next week breezes by, like they always do, and on Friday night, 
We fill the auditorium and watch as our friends take the stage one last time to put on an amazing performance of Beauty and the Beast. Imagine, April speeds by filled with sunny track meets, sweet promposals, and an epic baseball season. The college decisions start flowing in and the walls of the hub are covered per tradition. We find out that our classmates are headed in many directions from college in Arizona to Florida to Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, State College. Even right here in Williamsport, some bravely entering the military to pursue aviation technology or military intelligence. We listen to the morning announcements, cringe through the low-fat milk jokes, try our best to overcome our worsening senioritis. On the first Saturday of May, we get dressed up for our senior prom and try to be as classy as possible while dancing to rap music. Now, imagine this. In the weeks that follow, we realize that all good things do indeed come to an end. We take our final AP exams. We have our last bittersweet poptastic concert. We walk around Hutch's beloved psych fair one last time. We have our top hat dinner, getting time to chat with our favorite teachers and gain some much needed advice. We make plans for senior week, have our first senior skip day. We even travel back to third grade, jumping around in bouncy houses at our senior picnic. And of course, on our official last day of school, we hold in the unsettling emotions we take mental images of the halls that we have made our home. We let ourselves let go. And of course, we go try to steal some pancakes from Mr. Decker's room. To think that it all led up to this, graduation day. Although our senior year may have ended much differently than we ever expected, we cannot waste our time waiting for this storm to pass. As we reflect on our lives as students in Williamsport Area School District, we should be grateful to have spent 13 years surrounded by teachers and staff who molded our morals and our dreams, to have been surrounded by other young people whom we will carry with us as we migrate and mature. We must embrace high school. We must bask in the innocence, the community, and the feelings that we have come to cherish. Here and now, we must move on. I want you to know that your grief is not solitary. Even though many of us have put up a facade, we all feel these feelings. All of us long for the moments, for the memories, for the feelings that we missed out on. But now, we must hold on to the milestones that we did experience. Paint those pictures in our minds. Let the colors be bright and vibrant and comforting. Let's move on to the rest of our lives with the memories beautiful. Let's keep our imagination alive. Let's continue dancing in the rain. Thank you. <laughs> 23 credits, one completed CTE class, and several college credits later, and I have learned one huge lesson. High school was hard. I know that may not be an earth-shattering realization to anyone who's experienced it firsthand. However, I think it bears repeating. High school was hard. For years, we're pushed by our parents, by our teachers, and by ourselves to be the best we can be. With every test and every essay, we felt there couldn't possibly be an end to it all. But here we are. For most seniors, there's a natural progression to winding down formal education. That's prom, senior trips, hugging favorite teachers, and saying goodbye to favorite fish in Mr. Flint's fish tank. However, not much of our senior year has been normal. 
Instead of this progression that most classes have been gifted, we've been gifted with regret. Regret that we couldn't have done things differently. Regret that we didn't hold on to those happy moments for just a second longer than we did. <laughs> regret that we won't hear one more joke from the Mr. Kutz. <laughs> the past few months have felt like a storm and each one of those regrets felt like rain coming down harder and harder. However, rain isn't always a bad thing. It promotes growth, it cleanses, and allows us to slow down and take in the world around us. As Vivian Green says, life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning how to dance in the rain. Our class has become experts at learning how to dance in the rain. We were born into a time where our entire class was in need of healing, and we stand here concluding our childhood in the eye of a pandemic. Through all of that, though, our class still stands here as soon-to-be graduated seniors. Our generation has grown up through a storm, so we won't run when a little more rain comes our way. We will dance like we've had to for years. Now, unfortunately, I'm not a dancer. Ask anyone who knows me and my vast dancing skills and they'll mainly give you a sideways glance and say, it's a disaster you'd have to witness yourself. My go-to move is a good old thumbs up and lip bite when I'm getting really into it, which most often just acts as a parody of actually being able to dance. It was a relief to my parents when I said I was joining the military instead of auditioning for a dance academy. Our class, though, still dances. I still dance. I have the grace of a newborn calf, but I still dance. With confidence, with grace, with all of our missteps and struggles, we keep dancing. Nobody ever taught us the steps, and each one of us moves to the beat of our own drum. However, we all find a rhythm that works for us, and we dance. Although we've made it through high school, the next step for us will be hard. I know, another shattering revelation by a senior in a commencement speech, but life is going to be hard. Though challenges will be in our future, we cannot forget the struggles we have already overcome. We've made it through countless storms, and we will be ready for whenever the clouds roll in again. We will reflect on the moments that had the hardest rainfall, and we will weather that storm. Whether your high school career ended in rainbows or what felt like a sharknado, we all managed to dance through it. Move forward and seek your greatness, knowing you have survived 100% of the storms you have been put through. We all have lessons that we have felt defined us. Those moments were dance lessons that helped us grow into the dancers we were meant to be. No matter the challenge we are faced with, we can lean on our time as millionaires and weather any storm. So congratulations, class of 2020. Let's cherish our last moments here together before we make like a tree and leaf. <laughs> on behalf of the faculty and administration of the Williamsport Area High School, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this our 149th commencement exercise. Life is not about waiting for the storm to pass, but learning to dance in the rain. Vivian Green. Class of 2020, six simple words, not exactly how we planned it. You have been in constant uncertainty and motion since March 13th, as you've had to deal with the challenges and mitigation efforts of a global pandemic. These type of measures and parameters have not been in place since 1918. You are part of history. Your senior year finale is one that you will share with generations to come. You will tell your children about the absence of milestone events such as prom, senior picnic, spring concerts, sports seasons, competitions, and art exhibitions. This will be the storm for you as members of the class of 2020. However, the understanding, flexibility, 
and resiliency that each of you has demonstrated through these unprecedented times is astounding. Your dance lessons started at the start of your educational journey. Take time to reflect on your elementary, middle school, and high school experiences and apply them to your personal dance. The steps of your dance include your successes, your failures, your friendships, your mentors, and your experiences gained by becoming a graduate of the Williamsport Area School District. Your personal dance is just beginning. Your family, your community, your society, and your country need you now more than ever. Take your interests, skills, and education to create a healthier and safer society. All of you have much to share, and we have much to gain from your future endeavors and accomplishments. Make the continued commitment to your peers, parents, and loved ones, and all of us here in the Williamsport Area School District, that you will continue the dance and add a new move occasionally, even when it rains. We are extremely pr proud of you millionaires. You will forever live in our hearts and minds, and may you continue to keep your lives rich, the class of 2020. I would like to call your attention to just a few of the very important honors and awards that have been earned by the class of 2020. The first of these is the President's Award for Educational Excellence which are listed in the commencement program. Each of these students maintained a B plus average for four years and demonstrated outstanding performance on a standardized exam. There are a total of 120 recipients of this award. Next, it is my privilege to recognize senior recipients of the honors letter. These seniors have spent each marking period this year on the honor roll. There are 52 recipients in this year's graduating class. The Honors Medal is a remarkable academic achievement. The following seniors have earned honor roll distinction at the end of nearly every marking period. The following students earned honor roll 14 out of 15 quarters throughout their school tenure. Congratulations to Sophia Erb, Joshua Kiesling, Abigail Klein, Angelina Marone, Kylie Seagraves. The students I am about to name are truly exceptional and are also honors medal recipients. Each of these graduates has earned honor roll status during every single marking period since they entered high school. Congratulations go to Ashlyn Bird, Rosemary Flock, Julia Harvey, Sydney Hawk, Alexandra Lake, Kalindi Maggs, Aaron Riley, and Rose Washer. The class of 2020 boasts 54 members of the National Honor Society, some of who were inducted into the group last year as juniors. The names of these seniors appear in the commencement program and were recognized last week with a virtual ceremony. Each senior member is set apart during commencement by his or her National Honor Society stole worn over their graduation gown. In the program, you will find a list of seniors who are career and technical education completers and who earn the right to sit for the National Occup Occupational Competency Testing Institute's examination, also known as the NACTI. Unfortunately, this did not occur this year due to the global pandemic. We know they were prepared and ready to demonstrate competencies learned over the course of the last three years in their respective programs. We would like to recognize the senior students who have committed to serve in the armed forces post-graduation. They are as follows. Army, Emily Smith. Marines, Raina Fern and Isaac Nemesik. Navy, Christopher Hess. Brandon Quiggle, and Richard Webb. Thank you for your commitment to our nation. You make all of us at WASD proud, and we wish you the best of luck as you prepare to begin your career in the armed forces. Each year, the Howard Herrer Awards are presented to the outstanding senior male 
and female athletes. They are chosen by the high school's coaching staff. The Williamsport Area High School Outstanding Male Athlete of the Year is Owen Mahon, and our Outstanding Female Athlete of the Year is Lydia Smith. It is also a pleasure to present the coveted Sportsmanship Award to the male and female seniors who throughout their careers in athletics here at the high school have demonstrated the very best of sportsmanship. The winner of the Male Sportsmanship Award is Drake Mankey, and the winner of the Female Sportsmanship Award is Kalindi Mags. It is time to present the two most prestigious awards offered by the Williamsport Area High School. The first award given by the principals of the high school is presented to that student who ranks number two in the senior class. It is my pleasure to present for recognition the salutatorian of the class of 2020 who will attend Temple University where she will major in biochemistry. Congratulations to Rose Washer. The teaching staff of the Williamsport Area High School presents its prestigious faculty award to that young man or woman who ranks number one in the senior class. Ladies and gentlemen, this young lady is headed this fall to the University of Pennsylvania where she will major in biology with a concentration in molecular and cell biology. Please join me in congratulating the valedictorian of the class of 2020, Rosemary Flock. Finally, I'd like to take a moment to recognize the passing of the guard here at our high school. In addition to graduating your sons or daughters, we have also graduating through retirement two of our colleagues and friends from this school. We would like to wish Mr. Joseph Marzacco and Ms. Phyllis Sieber the very best in their upcoming retirement. Thank you for your dedication and service to our students over the course of your careers. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to present to you the Williamsport Area High School Class of 2020. First of all, I'd like to apologize to the classes before us and to the classes after. We had the best senior skip day and it will never be topped. We are also the least sleep deprived seniors this school has ever produced. Class of 2020 went through some weird things. Remember when the power went out and we spent a whole morning having fun in the auditorium? Or when we had an extended summer vacation because of mold? Well, because of all this, our class actually had the least cases of the virus called senioritis. Now I may be biased, but I believe that Williamsport is the best school district that anybody could grow up in. And these four years we spent together on the hill prepared us the most for our adult lives. Our big school doesn't only have the jocks, the theater nerds, the artsy kids. We have students who play a varsity sport, participate in a musical or play, take a culinary class, all while being an officer on the executive board. This is possible because of the amazing opportunities we are given. In a matter of minutes, you can go from playing in the orchestra to learning how to fix a car. You can go from construction class to learning about the medical field and health professions. We have just about everything a student could be interested in. The best thing about the school on the hill is that there is always summer to fit in. Between our challenging curriculum, arts programs, clubs, sports, and multiple CTE classes, what other school has all of that? while well, other school produces such well-rounded people that have only scratched the surface of so many different areas. This 
is one of the many reasons why I am proud to be a millionaire. Not only were we given those opportunities to do multiple things, but we got to be surrounded by many different groups of people every day, all while being loved by amazing teachers. Growing up in a big school has opened my eyes and taught me how to love everyone, even when they don't look or think like me. Having students from various backgrounds with every different possible belief is such a positive thing. Every single day, I got to hear different viewpoints and listen to people discuss politics. I got to voice my own opinion while others got to voice theirs. It didn't take us going to a big college to open our eyes about all the different kinds of people there are out there. We got to experience that right in our own high school as young as ninth grade. This opened all of our hearts to accept everyone. We always used to talk about those four minutes we got in between classes and how short those minutes felt. These four years went by just as fast as those four minutes did. It felt like we were just sitting in Mr. Decker's ninth grade English class and then all of a sudden we were submitting our senior quotes. The difference is that now we do have the time and we are ready. We will be saving and changing lives in more ways than one. Many of us are going into the military, the medical field, or even into education to learn how to help students just as our teachers did for us here. Most classes can say that high school alone has taught them something valuable, but I think that our class is unique and that the shortage of high school during our senior year taught some of us more than what we could have ever learned just sitting at a desk. We can now handle situations we never would have imagined. We can now make the most of every trial we go through. We can now go and change the world by inspiring others. One scripture I invite you to consider says, perhaps this is the moment for when you have been created. Every moment of our lives has led us to this, and every single moment after will change us. We have the power to use those moments for good. Class of 2020, be the change. I am so proud to have been your president and to have gotten the chance to work with all of you on making the most of our senior year. These three and three quarter years were not the end of our lives, but just the beginning. Keep it rich, millionaires. On behalf of the Board of Education, congratulations to the class of 2020. What an unbelievable year you've had. It's okay to grieve the what ifs, the missed opportunities, the goodbyes, but now is a time to celebrate all that you have accomplished. Here are some thoughts that all of us need to live by. The author is unknown, but the words still hold meaning. Be patient, be kind, smile, have fun, act silly, giggle, be present, enjoy today, bestow grace, practice gentleness, be honest, be thankful, give generously, imagine, dream, explore, learn, persevere, be courageous, pray boldly, encourage, edify and uplift, comfort the broken, serve faithfully, honor one another, forgive quickly, value friends and family, hug, hope, create, cuddle, laugh, call out beauty, choose joy, sing delightfully, dance freely, work hard, rest well, pioneer great adventures, live with intention, above all, love your God recklessly and richly, knowing that you are deeply loved. Alex Benyon interviewed Maya Angelo, who told him to write this sentence in his notepad and to never forget it. Every storm runs out of rain. Life is not about waiting for the storm to pass, but learning to dance in the rain. Go out and make the world a better place. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Make us millionaire proud. School board members, faculty, staff, administration, family and friends. By the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the Williamsport Area School District's Board of Education, 
I certify that each member of the class of 2020 has met all the requirements for graduation as outlined by the State of Pennsylvania's Department of Education and District Policy. As graduates, you will now have all the rights, privileges, honors, and responsibilities pertaining to achieving a high school diploma. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to certify and present to you the class of 2020. Congratulations.